Let's see the run. Hi, I'm Derek Cooper, Director of Instruction at Royal Oaks Country Club, and we're here on the fourth hole for week four of our 18 holes in 18 weeks. And the shot we're looking at today is this layup shot on the par five. The challenge that a lot of players have here is there's a few things you want to take into consideration and I think we get too caught up in the fact that there's water down the right hand side and the fairways down the left and we miss a couple of key things here. So one of the things that we do want to take into account is that there's a tree line down the left hand side of the fairway here which blocks out the predominant wind. So when you're standing in the fairway you can't feel that wind yet when the ball gets up in the air and above that tree line the wind's going to tend to blow the ball and it tends to move it towards the water which is exactly where we don't want it to go. So we want to keep that in mind when we're choosing our target down the fairway. The other thing we want to keep in mind is we want to think about what length shot do we want to have for our approach. So if you don't like having shots under 100 yards, then you want to lay up a little further back. If you're not comfortable hitting an 8-iron into this green, then you want to lay up a little further down the fairway. So the thing that I would encourage you to do is, is get your laser out if you have one or use your GPS, shoot what the yardage is to the target, and then break that up into two increments that you're comfortable doing. So today I've hit this tee shot, I'm down here, I've hit the fairway, I'm going to shoot the yard, shoot the flag stick for today. And I've got 254 yards to the flag, so I want to think about how I want to break that up. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this shot about 155 yards and see if I can leave myself a 100 yard approach shot. So I brought over a couple of clubs so I didn't have to walk back to the cart. I'm going to choose the club that I'm going to be able to hit to 155 yards. From there I want to make sure that I choose my target down the fairway correctly. So we talked about keeping in mind that the wind tends to blow out of the left from above that tree line. So I'm going to pick one of the trees in the tree line down the left as my target and then I'm going to make a committed swing to that. So I'm going to get set up. I've identified my target down the fairway. Remember I'm trying to hit this 155. Go through my routine. Landed in the fairway, it's going to leave me about 100 yards into the green, which for me is a nice comfortable gap wedge. Going to knock it on the green, be able to make an easy par.